Alright, step one. Turn this shit on. Cool. Now that shit's on. Step two. What you want to do, see this button right here? Usually just press it to view the clips like that. There's the clips. But this time you're going to want to actually hold the shit down until it changes to right here. That light's going to pop up. It's going to say PC. You just hold that shit down. Until you see that shit right there. Okay, so obviously the next step, you're going to want to locate the mini USB right there. USB 2.0. And you're going to take this whole thing and you're going to plug that shit in. Alright, so once you plug this thing in here. Should say USB device connect. If it doesn't, you did something wrong. Okay, now once you got all that shit connected, you're going to see some USB drives here. Depending on how many P2 cards you actually have in the camera, there's going to be either one or two right here that have the same file name under contents. Now what you're going to want to do is open up a new folder. Alright, so I'm here on my external hard drive. That's usually what you're going to want to save the shit to. Otherwise, your computer is going to run like shit. So you got a new folder. I'm just going to call this P2. Alright, cool. Alright, so once you got that folder saved right there, what you're going to want to do is take the entire contents folder. Now this is where a lot of people fuck up. They'll go, they'll double click the shit. Don't even double click. Because then you got all these separate files, and that's going to fuck you over in the long run. You're going to have all these separate things. You're just going to have the video file, and then have to connect it with the audio file, which you can do, but fuck that. So you get, just take the whole entire bitch. Move it over. Alright, so you take this contents folder right there, copy the whole shit. You're going to see this pop up. Alright, you're done with that one. Then you want to move on to the next one. And here you go. You want to make sure you keep track of which one you've already downloaded. Otherwise, you're just going to have two of the same fucking things and lose a whole other P2 card. So that's going to suck. Uh, usually one of them takes longer than the other. I don't know why, that's just how it goes. But that's pretty much it for the whole saving aspect. So that's all downloaded. Got contents folder right here. And you're clicking, you're like, oh shit, it's all the same shit. What's up with that? What 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 the fuck is this MXF file? And I'm sure that's what half the people are wondering watching this. Uh so I don't really fucking know. I'm sure you can convert it or whatever, but what I do know is if you were to go and open up Adobe Premiere which you should fucking have because it's 2020 and what else would he be fucking using? So you go, you open Adobe Premiere. Go in your new project. Uh, just fucking name it whatever the fuck you need to name it. And when you're picking a preset, you go down to DVC Pro HD right there. Click that shit. Go to 720. Because chances are that's what you're shooting. It's what you should be shooting. 720 by 60. Otherwise, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Okay. So you got all that shit there. Okay, so you're here. Adobe Premiere. It's fucking great. Cool. So open up this folder. And then, damn, look at that. They're just fucking magically there. I don't know how it works. Uh, Adobe Premiere just, it just got it like that. So you fucking just drag and drop. Got all those fucking audio files. Ugly as shit, I know. Sucks. And yeah, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about all those MXF files and matching up the audio to the video. Adobe just does it all for you. I don't know how or why, but that's how it goes. Um, one other thing to note with these P2 uh, cards and shit. A lot of people, they want to go and try to rename this shit. What I found is once you get rid of these numbers, it fucking corrupts the whole entire footage, everything. So... I mean, personally, I don't fucking rename it just because I can just look at the shit on Adobe Premiere and it's fine. I don't really mind having to search it. But I know some people will go and they'll keep the numbers but just put something in front of it. So if you want to do that, do that. Personally, I don't give a fuck. I just run it how it is. Keep the numbers. Uh, it's like a 12-year-old camera. It's going to come with setbacks, obviously. If you don't like it, just get a new fucking camera. And yeah, that's pretty much it. On me, I said you better bring the navy, cause I'm finna bring the army. Get